Hello, I'm Dr. Tom Toothaker, a physical therapist at the Orthopedic and Spine Center, here to talk to you about functional dry needling. This is something that we added to our practice about three years ago, a very powerful tool uh, that, that we use as an adjunct to the other, uh, other treatment methods that we offer. Um, dry needling is, uh, is, it involves inserting a needle into a muscle. Right? When it goes into the muscle, uh, a chain reaction happens. So there's a local twitch response uh, from that local twitch response, there's a release of chemicals. Those chemicals build up and cause pain. Those leave, the muscle relaxes, and then it restores the blood flow to the muscle. Uh, usually, you can get an immediate response, either immediate response and decrease in pain, or increase in function, like range of motion or strength. And functional dry needling can be used for uh, chronic pain, uh, for tendonitis, uh, for um, uh, post-injury, uh, to help promote healing. Um, Anywhere where there's a problem with the, with the muscular system, uh, dry needling can be used. I can be used for headaches. So a common question that I get is, uh, is functional dry needling acupuncture? And it's not. Uh, the, the only similarity is, is what we use, which is a little uh, needle, a monofilament needle, uh, that is very similar uh, in both practices. Uh, besides that, though, the, um, the actual uh, change that we're trying to produce what actually happens is is much different. So with 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 acupuncture, you know, they it's it's Eastern medicine that believes in lines of chi or meridians that, that flow through your body. Needles are put in, in certain lines of that meridian to to heal or or promote healing of, of something in your body. With dry needling, we actually take that needle and insert it into the muscle belly. Uh, to cause a physiological change as I described before, increasing blood flow, muscle relaxes, and then uh, decreasing chemicals. So this is Heather Cole, she's a physical therapy assistant here at, at uh, Orthopedic and Spine Center. So she has very tight upper trap muscles, okay, and this is what we're going to treat today. So here's the needle that we're going to be using on Heather. Uh, they come in different sizes depending on the depth of the tissue. So with Heather, she has really tight upper trap muscles, right? So we take this, try to move it. We don't get a lot of movement, okay? We're gonna take this needle, insert it into the upper trapezius, and you should see a twitch. The muscle will bounce. What does that feel like? Um, it's uncomfortable. You definitely feel the muscle spasm, but it's not something that's intolerable. Um, need the needle, you don't feel as much as you feel the muscle actually grab, but afterwards it makes a huge difference. You see those? Now much more movement. And I'm, I'm applying just about the same amount of pressure right through that muscle. I'm not getting that same type of resistance that I was getting before. So following dry needling, you might experience some soreness, kind of like a, a workout type soreness that might last 24 to 48 hours, uh, but it should subside. Once that subsides, then your pain or discomfort should also start to subside as well. Uh, you don't need to do anything different uh, out of the ordinary. Actually, the best thing for it is movement. So usually when you do dry needling, there are some type of corrective exercises that your physical therapist or physical therapist assistant has given you uh, in conjunction with the actual dry needling. Uh, so that would be the best thing to do after you do the dry needling, either in the clinic or, or at home. So when you come to the Orthopedic and Spine Center and you're evaluated by a physical therapist, uh, will help determine if, if functional dry needling is an actual tool that would benefit you in, in whatever your, your impairment is. Uh, and it's done in conjunction with the other 
uh, other areas of treatment that we have like manual therapy, corrective exercises, and other modalities. So next time you see your doctor or physical therapist, ask if dry needling is something that's appropriate for you.